Welcome to HDTV, you're now rocking with your boy. Now, um, basically shout out to C-Pen and who did it. We got, I got the video up on uh, Welcome to HDTV, C-Pen and who did it this time. Um, check that out. We talking about some realness on there. And also check out the live we did. Um, we did the live is basically off work don't you know that's the name of it paul george extension and of course we're also talking about football and we're talking about other things as well wrestling and all that so make sure you go check those videos out now who did it was mentioning this um and what he was talking about um Major League Baseball umpire Brian Onora, who's 57, is among 14 men arrested during a prostitution sting in Ohio. Um, Major League Baseball umpire Brian Onora was one of the 14 men arrested in prostitution sting in southwest Ohio on Sunday. Onora, who's 57, and the other 13 were charged with soliciting a third-degree misdemeanor and possessing criminal tools, which is a first-degree misdemeanor. A MLB spokesperson declined to comment on the arrest when contacted by DailyMail.com. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost announced the arrest on Monday, posting photographs of all 14 accused men on Twitter. Um, the operation, which was conducted by the Liberty Township Police Department and several task forces, was aimed at reducing the demand for prostitution among Johns. John's stings deter those seeking to purchase sex, reducing the demand for human trafficking and serve as a reminder that these crimes are more prevalent and closer to home than you may think. Yo said in a statement besides the location of the sting, Liberty Township, other details of the arrest were not revealed on Monday. Onora has been umpiring MLB games which is Major League Baseball since 2000 and has regularly been selected for the for the sports most glamorous assignments such as three all-star games six divisional playoff series a league championship series and the 2012 World Series he has reportedly lived on the opposite side of the state in Austin town since 2003 man that is crazy. So basically, um, Yost is um, an umpire, been it for a long time, and um, he was arrested for these charges. And um, we were basically talking about the Kyrie thing, about how he's not speaking to the media, and they're basically alienating him. They're basically trying to say he's a cancer. But when you look at the situation, why aren't the umpires or the referees being interviewed after games oh we know why because the sports world wants to keep their gambling secret away from the public they don't want the public to know that the games are controlled to match the betting lines which we've been known this for a long time and then when umpires or referees get caught and they're white they love to brush it under the table but we know if this was a black man they would have had that on the front page they would have had that in the news story they would have been talking about it on undisputed first take all these networks you know that you guys love to quote from but this this, this is what i'm saying like where where's the talk where's the talk about this no nah, but we're going to talk about Kyrie cuz he don't want to talk to the media and i've asked this question what dictates the player has to talk to the media? They're like, oh, it's in the contract. Why is it in the contract? Why I got to talk to the media? Why? The player should have a choice to whether talk to the media or not talk to the media. I believe your star player or your superstar, yes, I agree. They must talk to the media to promote the team and to have the team basically get marketed. But at the same time to me, if you're forcing them to to have to do media and be available to the media, you should have the same the same clauses in the contracts of the referees. You should. And to me, th this is the thing. To me, this is the thing. Why isn't this being reported? You're a part of a prostitution ring, whether innocent or not. Because, you know, white people in America, they're innocent until proven guilty. 
us, we're guilty. Even after we're proven innocent, we're guilty. <laughs> so that's that's the thing I'm trying to figure out. So this isn't going to be reported because it's an umpire. Um, and I guess they got more respect for these referees and umpires, especially them being white. They're like, oh, no, well, we're not we're not going to um, bring this out or put this out because we don't want it to be this way to baseball. This is why I don't watch baseball. Baseball is the most one of the most racist sports, prejudiced sports like all the other sports. And they were allowed to villainize their athletes, their stars like Sammy Sosa. They turned Sammy Sosa white. They did Barry Bonds wrong. They never caught him with anything, but yet they still villainized him. And then when their golden boy, Roger Clemens, got caught, they backed the hell up on the report. They wanted the, the Barry debacle report and all that. They didn't want to bring that out because they was like, uh, 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 we got two. And it was more pictures on there than the hitters. So that just lets you know how baseball is full of crap. They're full of crap in this instance as well. This should have been reported. And I don't condone prostitution or condone, condone all of that. But as a representation or representer of the sport, they should, have, they should have put this out more in the news and they should have talked about it. But to me, because he's a pink complexion, they're not going to talk about it. Um, to me, they were charged in soliciting and they were called, um, like I said, We'll see how it is. I'll pay close attention to it. But shout out to who did it for um, giving me that information. Just wanted to come with a little video. Nothing too long. Um, thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And um, make sure you like the videos, especially. If you want to donate to the page, you can cash at me at the word welcome. The number two in an HDII TV. Thank you all for listening and thank you all for your support in the stream yard last night. Shout out to T, Nicholas Jacobs, who did it this time. Um, C Pen for the win, Joe Cool, my boy Neil, Buffalo Neil. I'm gonna have that on um, Buffalo Bills video um coming out. I'm re-watching the game with them in San Fran. I'm on um, break down the Buffalo Bills. And um also, um, I'm probably going to do a video breaking down some plays on um, football plays, explaining to you why the Dallas defense is as poorish as they are. I'm going to show you why they're not winning. And it's going to be more about the the it's more about the players and the scheme. And um, and I'm going to break that down to you guys. But again, um, thank you guys for coming by yesterday. Shout out to T again. Um um who else was in it oh yeah do little man i really appreciate you for coming through man those are some great questions i know you had to get off the live early i hope you're okay i hope nobody beat you up but thank you for coming by shout out to andrew walker and everybody intelligent cycle everybody um who's supporting the page man if i missed you i apologize um thank you for listening man and we are out live boy